Second Legionnaire for Del Valle. The Boros troops are training. See, they need to fight down the dinosaurs. That's why they're, they're inventing weapons. This, this dinosaur is hard to fight. This, this is a large one. It's definitely not looking good for him. Because now we turn three alpha. And that should be turn four Galta, if my math's right. Four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's turn four Hasey Galta. So he needs something good here. He, he needs to kill the alpha. He actually needs to go harness lightning, kill the alpha. Oh, no, he's dead. We're going to be mean. Good game. He is super dead. Holy crap. Well, there's a that's a turn four kill, ladies and gentlemen. On January 19th, 2018, Wizards of the Coast released the 77th standard expansion, Rivals of Ixalan, the second set in the Ixalan block. Similar to the previous set, Ixalan, Rivals of Ixalan was a set focused on the four major creature types, pirates, merfolk, vampires, and last but not least, dinosaurs. Although dinosaurs of the past have primarily been in the colors red, white, and green, Wizards Research and Development decided to give each color their own dinosaur, creating the cycle of Elder Dinosaurs. Each Elder Dinosaur has unique traits that depict that color's playstyle and identity. With green's creature being the largest amongst all other colors, they decided to make the green dinosaur really, really big, and thus, Galta Primal Hunger was born. Galta Primal Hunger is a 12-12 trampler for 2 green mana and 10 generic. Galta costs X generic mana less to cast, or X is the total power of creatures you control, allowing Galta to sometimes be cast for only 2 mana. Galta is tied for the 9th biggest creature in the entire game, most above her being either outdated unplayable rares or large Eldrazi Titans. With her large size and ability to reduce her cost, Galta is a great curve topper for green monster decks to get the game over with in just a few attacks. Galta's primary home in Standard during early Ixalan was unsurprisingly in Gruul Dinosaur decks, pairing well with Registrar Alpha to stampede over the competition. Upon the release of Dominaria, Galta was a major player in the Steel Leaf Stompy deck, a green based aggro deck that played large, undercosted creatures with Steel Leaf Champion leading the way. Paired with vehicles like Heart of Kirin, it was extremely easy to get Galta down on turns 4 and 5 and quickly end the game. Towards the end of her life in Standard, with the release of Corset 2020, Galta found three new dinosaur friends to join her herd, Shifting Ceratops, a Rotting Raptor, and Rotting Regisaur. Paired with other dinosaurs in the Exelon block, Gen Dinosaurs became one of the best decks in the metagame, highlighted by Cory Baumeister's first place finish at the Star City Games Philadelphia Team Open, defeating Boros Feather piloted by Nicholas DeValle. Although Galta had very little Pro Tour success, Galta has found a new home, like many standard cards from her era, in Pioneer. She's been a solid finisher in many different green stompy decks, like Gruul Dinosaurs and Golgari Stompy. Galta also helped me reach two local top 8 finishes, including my very first top 8 and Michigan's first competitive Pioneer event. Galta is also a very popular kitchen table card, where she has been reprinted in Game Nights, Jumpstart, and most recently in the Just Add Milk Secret Lair, eating her favorite cereal, Stompylicious. Galta has been a fan favorite since her release in 2018, and hopefully, we will see her return in the Lost Caverns of Ixalan in 2024. I'm Commander Crane, and thanks for watching.